Hello Fearless Gamers, Matt here for Fearless Games, and welcome back to another episode of The Joy of Painting Minis. Um, in our last episode, we completed all the blue armor on her, and gave her face a nice little wash up. Um, mind the phone, it, um, it's just someone telling me, giving me a message. Um, so, we are going to now continue on with our, um, painting this uh, model, and we're going to be using the following colors you see on your screen, and let's dive into this. So what we're going to do now is, is we're going to add some whites to her eyes to help make them look less doll-like, which is what they look like right now. So we're going to take some white, very, very carefully. Add some touch-ups to those eyes. Trick is this since she's looking forward, it can cheat a little bit. And I'm gonna have to fix her up a little bit after that. And all I'm just doing is, is I'm taking paint I'm putting a small very small dab in the corners boom that way I can give her little whites I find it's easier to paint the black first, give them like a little shark eye, and then add the whites because then you can actually change which direction they're looking in a lot easier. It requires a little bit more of a steady hand and a little bit more precision, but the effect is great. And so the only issue is, is sometimes you end up having to redo the face a little bit, but that's okay. It helps with dealing with any imperfections that may have not the first time when you were doing this. Yeah. There we go. So now I'm gonna fix up her eyes, her face a little bit because I made some mistakes with the eyes. As I always do. That's one thing I don't like about the heroic scale. Um, or the closer to um that's the realistic scale, which these are a little bit closer to because I find it's harder to get to the eyes than it is with some of the other colors. So I'm gonna Okay, here we go, now she has a face! And some eyes. Looks a little bit less creepy. So now we're going to finish up her hair and the brown padding on her armor by adding just a small tinge of highlights to it. Nothing too fancy, just enough to help it stick out a little bit. Um, so first gonna go on the 
padding, just find little tiny corners. Add some to the center of the pads on her arms here. And then, hey, looks like all the pads that I want are done. Now just add some highlights to her hair to help frame out her face a little bit. And all I'm just doing is, is I'm just taking the brush Lying it on the hair strands and just sliding it, and then the uh, then the topmost hair strands are getting coated with the paint, leaving the hair strands underneath untouched. Okay, a little bit more over here. All righty. Okay, so she is practically done here. She's got just a little bit more left to do. We just have to paint the cape and the little Signar badges on her shoulders. And then she will be completed. So let's move on to the next step, which will be putting on the shoulder pad colors. So we're going to actually, well, I'm going to continue with the brown for a little bit and do one other spot in this brownish color. I'm going to do this one, like she has two capes, I'm going to put this dual cape here. I'm going to put it, in, I'm going to put the um, brownish color in here. Gonna try and do a similar color scheme to what they do on the box, but just slightly different. Oops, this one has like a tannish yellow cape on here. So we're gonna give this a shot to see how this comes out. And do some really crazy looking stuff like in a minute with this
done. Alrighty. So now, while well, wait for that to dry, gonna do the shoulder pad symbols like her her um her bed her um rank markings on the um top here we're gonna do a first um a slightly like dull yellow as a base coat for it. We're going to do our badge, this badge here. Signal bird. Move this shoulder. This is one model where she, the, these bit bird got really messed up. Like, barely tell that it's supposed to be the signal symbol. But that's what happens when you're dealing with pewter. You get models that ha start having detail issues. But such is the way of the life of a hobbyist. Okay. So now, while wow. that guys gonna take some brown ink and go over the brown um, cape that we did here one thing I will say about p3 washes they take a while to dry up when they um, when they're put on the pallets. So, gives you a lot of ample time in case you need them, which is nice. And can also be annoying because eventually I run out of space on my palette to put anything on. Good thing I have, like, one of the reasons why I'm glad I have two. One for washes and one for paints. There we go. to the next phase, which will be painting the other cape. Um, kinda, sorta. Because we're gonna actually, let's see... The yellows on our shoulder pads seem to be ready for their next coat, so let's do those instead.
just the highlights area. I'd have to go over that with um, a GW wash since I don't have any of the yellow inks from P3. Okay, so there we go, and yep, gonna want to do a little bit of a yellow wash, I'm gonna grab my GW wash, since it's the only wash I have that's for yellows, which is, should be somewhere over here, um, do you actually know, oh wait, there it is, I know I had it close by. And so we're going to take this and just apply a small smidgen to that area right there to help bring out the details in those places. And looks like the brown on that cape is ready for its next color. So we're going to go back over it again with the light brown. going over the highlighted areas and leaving the recesses coated and so so this is going to be part of I need to get um some of the cavalry marines that um go with the um with her that way get some added b benefits we get some dudes that'll help, that she'll help them um, make um more more practical and i might pick up striker on the horse because i think with him be a nice she'll make also he'll make a nice war caster to go along with her plus he gives bonuses to storm blades and so her bonuses to storm blades or storm lances I think that storm lances sorry will help with each other to make just a nice coherent force much better than the one I've currently got because I've got um, Nemo and a bunch of jacks but Nemo that I have doesn't really work well. But it could also just be my lack of my horribleness as a player because I kind of do stink at these games. Um, usually, that's why you don't see many um, like strategy, um, strategy um, videos from me because you don't want to. The strategy video for me, trust me. Um, okay, so now with that, I'm gonna try a little trick. I'm gonna see what happens if I mesh the brown I just used with some yellow. See if I can make a nice highlight color to go over that brown that we just used. See how that works. One of the good things here again. Experimenting can sometimes create something you never expected before. And this one's working. I just got it's got like a little mustardy color to it. I just need to add, I think, a hinge more brown than what I did to this to help. Because right now it looks more yellow than brown, and I don't think that highlight's going to translate well on that brown that we have on here. So let's add some more 
to it. Ooh, that's coming out nice now. Just a little hint more brown. So it, just to give us a nice, like, bright brown that's got a hinge of yellow in it. Much better. That's a much better. Now that's a brown highlight for this model. There we go. Now we are running low on time. Let me just add a final yellow piece to the Signar and Captain symbol that she has. This will define it a little bit better. Okay, so now, almost wrapped up. Going to, I guess we'll start a little bit on the um, cape here since I do have, it's one of those too much time, not enough time, so we'll do a little bit of the cape before we head out for the day. So let me just get some paint here, and let's paint up. Whoops. Go home. Go home, Vladimir. You're drunk. Let me paint up this color. One of the things you'll notice with me is, is I very rarely use different brushes, and that's why, that's one of the reasons why my brushes wear so much, but there's also another reason behind this. I actually have a whole set of brand new brushes, like I mentioned before. My girlfriend got them for me for Christmas, and I don't want to start using one of those until I'm ready to use the whole set as it's meant to be, so I'm trying... And then, since I'm trying to wear down the current brushes I have, so then I can replace all of them in once, and then I don't have some new brushes mixing with some old brushes, I want to have a whole brand new set, but I don't want to throw out the current brushes I have, because they're still good. So I'm trying to put them through the ringer, get them to just basically wear to the point where they're done. And then I can feel fine, then I can justify using all the brushes, and I can use all of them equally, and not have to deal with um, the fact that there's some that are new brushes, there's some old brushes, they're all on the same level when I use them for the first time.
Okay. I apologize for the silence, I just can't think of anything to say while I'm painting this model. So I just thought I would just let us sit and enjoy just how, like I said before, the transformation of this model from this nothing little plain bland pewter piece to the model that we're seeing right now. And it's just like I said in a previous episode, just love watching these miniatures, essentially, for lack of a better term, word, come to life just by simply applying some paint to it. It's just very awesome to watch. And what's also really great is, at, is to, while you're painting, watching yourself improve. So, like, you see yourself and... You start seeing new effects appear that you weren't able to do before, and you're just watching that. In a sense, it's kind of like a surreal thing. You're just going, wow, this is this is me painting this model. No one else is painting it. It's me, and, but it feels like you're just watching. And it also just allows you to be very creative, to experiment, try out new things, see how colors are going to work together and just see them all blend and make something. And so we are running out of time, so I will finish her cape off camera. That way we can jump right into the next episode. And so thank you all for listening and watching. And until next time, Fearless Gamers, take care. Mm -hmm.